this year, I'm determined not to waste a minute, which doesn't mean that I plan to be frantically busy either. There's an art to making life meaningful, and that's to dive right in. A meal is a time where we can sit back and consciously enjoy the company, the scenery, and the flavors. And this week's menu is designed to help us savor the moment. I entertain all year round, but during the festive season, I often volunteer to host family and friends. It's a great way to catch up with loved ones. I'm creating a feast to savor today. I'm starting out with a go and spice leg of lamb. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to cook in the oven. And for that, I've got a leg of lamb here. It weighs around two to two and a half kilograms. And for this, I've already sliced through the leg of lamb. I'm a bit short on time today, and this speeds up the marination process. The spices really go all the way to the bone. Got some sunflower oil going into a roasting pan. Next, sprinkle some coarse salt over. Place the lamb leg on top of the tray. And for the spice paste, we've got green chili here. We've got black pepper, some dry red chilies, cumin seeds, cardamom pods. We've got about four cloves, cinnamon sticks, and coriander seeds. You normally soak these spices in vinegar and then blitz it in a food processor, or you could use a stick blender. And that's what the paste should look like. To this, add some ginger and garlic paste. Ginger tenderizes the meat and so does the vinegar. Add some sunflower oil. Two tablespoons of red chili powder. Two teaspoons of garam masala and one teaspoon of turmeric. Mix that around. That's quite smooth. The ingredients have come together nicely. Season the leg with salt. And now for the messy part. Scoop some of the marinade into the slits in the lamb, trying not to get the chili on my fingers. Use the back of the spoon and just spread that over the lamb. I've left a bit of fat on and this prevents the meat from drying out. This is now ready for the oven and remember if you have time, leave this to marinate overnight so those flavors really work into the meat. I'm gonna bake this off in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for an hour and 30 minutes if you like your meat pink, if you like it more well done, two hours. Let's get started on the donuts. To me, the dessert today is the star of the show. Old fashioned fresh cream donuts. Cake flour going into the mixing bowl. To this, salt, sugar, dried yeast, and vanilla powder. Work these ingredients together on a low speed. This is to evenly distribute the yeast into the dry ingredients. Next, two eggs and some warm milk. The milk should be about 74 to 75 degrees Celsius. And remember to keep the beater going on a low speed and that's to develop the gluten slowly. The dough is a little sticky, don't be alarmed. Time to add the soft butter. Seems quite hard to believe, but the dough has come together quite nicely. That's the perfect dough. It is slightly sticky still, which is gonna make it quite easy to roll into its shape. This is what we called an enriched dough. It's got butter and eggs, milk as well. Just press that down and knead. This is what we're looking for, a really soft, elastic sort of dough. The gluten started to develop. Knead the dough until smooth. I've already greased a bowl with nonstick spray. Pop that into the mixing bowl, cover it with cling film, and leave this to rise at room temperature until it doubles in size. And while that's proving, I'm going to start with the veggies. For the honeyed sweet potatoes, I've melted some butter already. To this, add honey. Spice up the butter now with some cumin seeds. To this, add chili flakes. Keep stirring. Next, lime juice. Stir that around. These ingredients and spices are match made in heaven. Season the sweet potato with salt. That should do it. Some black pepper to season as well. Just a light sprinkling. Pour the honeyed butter over the sweet potatoes. Doesn't that look good? It looks like there's a fair bit of butter in here, but remember the sweet potatoes are gonna soak in all that goodness. That's ready to go into the oven. The lamb's been in for about an hour. Let's pop the sweet potatoes in as well. 
I'm a potato fan, but I have to say sweet potatoes work particularly well with this go and roasted leg of lamb. I've opened the oven. These aromas are traveling through my kitchen, which means the spices are working their magic. I'm starting out with the braised brinjals and for that, sunflower oil into the pan. To this, a pinch of cumin seeds. They turn a shade darker and start to sizzle once they heat up. I'm using a touch of coconut in this recipe, bringing back some of those holiday memories. Add the onion and to the salt. Add some curry leaves. To the hot oil, add some desiccated coconut. In a few seconds, you start to get this lovely aroma coming through. And now garlic. I love lots of garlic with brinjal. Once the garlic pieces start to turn golden brown, add the red chili powder. Heat the chili powder through. Chop tomatoes. About 200 grams going in. Stir the tomatoes into that hot oil. Keep stirring. Use the back of a spoon and break down the lumps. Time to season this with our spices. Some garam masala, ground coriander, cumin, and a touch of turmeric. Mix that around. And I want this to look like a thick curry paste. I've already prepared the brinjals by sweating them with fine salt, wiping them with an absorbent paper towel, and frying them off in hot oil until they're golden. They go into the tomato and stir quite gently. You're almost stir frying them. Before serving, I'm going to add the fresh coriander. The braised brinjal is done. Turn off the heat. Let's check on our dessert dough. Here it is, it's doubled in size, it's risen quite nicely. And gently press that down. Remove it from the bowl and knead it. Just another tip when you're making donuts, remember to not leave the dough in a place that's too hot. It's gonna to rise too quickly. You should get about 12 donuts out of this, divide this in half, half again, and each section into three pieces. I think I'm gonna make about six for now. Work each piece of dough into a length, and then roll them into that traditional donut shape, and place that onto a greased tray. Next one, pressing quite firmly, with the palm of my hand. Remember, these are going to double in size. These old fashioned donuts that I make are proper fresh cream donuts, which is why my friends and my family love them so much. This is the seventh one, just for luck. I'm using another baking tray or roasting pan to cover those donuts and make sure you don't smash them. You could also use a cardboard box to do this and it prevents the donuts from drying out. Time to fry off these donuts. They look perfect. The oil's already heated up. Gently lift them and place them in the hot oil. Next one going in. Another one. You don't want the oil to be too hot for this or they're gonna brown on the outside and remain raw on the inside. Using tongs, gently move them around. They're starting to turn pale golden in color. You can see it's formed a lovely crisp coating on the outside. And remember if the oil's too cold, these donuts are just going to soak up too much oil. They sound hollow and you know they're light and airy. They just float up to the surface. Remove them from the hot oil and place them on a tray. The last one. Leave the donuts in a wire rack to drain off the excess oil and while that's cooling down, it's time to plate the feast. The main course is ready, time to finish up on the dessert. I've got some whipped cream here in a piping bag. Slice through, almost all the way through. Let's take a look. That's perfectly cooked, light and spongy on the inside. First one, I just gently pipe the fresh cream into the center of that donut. I love lots of fresh cream. The next one. These are really a treat. My, that does look quite pretty. To finish up on these donuts, pop a cherry in the center. 
lightly dust with icing sugar. The donuts are done and this looks like decadence on a plate. I hope I've demystified this recipe for you. It does look complicated, but I promise they're very simple to make. For the main course, a go and roasted leg of lamb to go with that honeyed sweet potatoes and braised brinjals. Life is about treasuring every moment. Savor them, feast, be joyful and merry. I know I'm supposed to wait, but I can't resist this luscious fresh cream. Mm, that's really good.